In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to generate dashed lines using the Voronoi Fracture object in Cinema 4D Release 18 and greater. And I've shown you a few different techniques before for creating dashed lines, but this one is unique in that it is fully geometric, and so it will respect depth of field, and also it's easy to use different spline profiles and also control the dashes with effectors. So let's take a look at how this works. It's incredibly simple. If we just take this sweep here for the dash text, and I'm just going to turn off my Voronoi fractures here, all you need to do is create a new Voronoi fracture object and stick your sweep into the Voronoi fracture. And then in the Voronoi fracture object, you want to go into the sources tab, delete the point generator that's there by default, and drop the sweep spline into the sources tab. So you're basically using the sweep spline as a source for its own fracturing. When you select the text object here, you can go into the distribution and you can use even, step, count, or vertices. Even tends to work really well. We'll go ahead and increase this to something like 150. And now we have a number of fractures that are evenly spaced. Now you can control those fractures with effectors. So like for instance, here I have a formula effector and I've simply used the modulo function to scale down every fourth dash. So mod ID four equals zero means that every fourth dash is gonna be scaled down. In the parameter here, you can see the scale is minus one. You could also invert this formula and use the visibility parameter, but the benefit of using scale is that you can easily adjust the strength and scale those dashes up and down. So let's go ahead and apply that to the Voronoi fracture. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the formula effector is being applied. There we go. And now you can see that we've got those dashed lines. And as we adjust the fall off here of the effector, you can see those dashed lines scale in and out. And you could actually create multiple formula effectors and scale each ID at a different size, or you could adjust your formula itself in order to create different dash patterns. Now we can do the same thing here with this helix. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the sweep into a new Voronoi fracture object. And again, in the same way, I'm gonna take the sweep spline and I'm gonna make that a source on my Voronoi fracture. And then here in the distribution, I can adjust this distribution so that I have basically the amount of spacing that I want for my dashes. So I'm gonna go up to say 150. And again, we can apply a formula effector onto that and we will get our dash lines. So that's how you can create dash lines in Cinema 4D Release 18 using the Voronoi Fracture object. I hope you enjoy using this technique and all of the great things that you can do with the Voronoi Fracture object. And if you enjoyed this quick tip, please like, share, and visit cineversity.com for more great tutorials and resources.